Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an absolutely putrid recording of Mozart Violin Concerti on period instruments, of course. I, this one is with Gottfried von der Goltz from the Freiburg Baroque Orchestra, um, conducted and performing at the piano. Not that these pieces need a piano or have a part for a piano or anyone cares about a piano by Christian Bezuidenhut, possibly the most dreadful period instrument pianist I have yet to hear, certainly one of them. I mean, I, I just have to be dogmatic and say, I am so freaking sick of hearing Mozart violin concertos played on period instruments. I mean, remember that absolutely excruciating, appalling, despicable recording with, with oh, I don't even remember what her name was, conducted by Reinhard Goebel. Remember that thing? I mean, it was just, there's, there's, they just sound terrible. They sound awful on period instruments. They really do. Why? Well, because we have to go through this again. Do we have to go through this again? The entire history of the evolution of the violin has been to create a more vocal, beautiful tone, a more expressive tone. I'm not just talking about use of vibrato. I'm talking about using different types of strings, lengthening the bow, doing all these things that they did to create a more human, warm, expressive timbre. And that is what modern violins have. And I don't give a damn what conditions existed in Mozart's time. Remember Tovey's fabulous, fabulous, and oh-so-true dictum, which is, scholarship itself is not obliged to insist on the restoration of conditions that ought never to have existed in the first place. The question is not, what did they do back then? We know what they did back then, or we have we can surmise what they did back then. We cannot surmise ever what it actually sounded like. We have no clue, but we sort of know what they did. Fine. But the question is, what does the music demand? What makes it sound best? I mean, these concerti, concerto number three, has the most gorgeous slow movement, the most beautiful slow movement like in the universe. It is the most lovely, singable, vocal tune and there is no limit to how beautiful you can make it sound do these people try to make it sound beautiful no they don't they don't make the slightest effort well they make an effort maybe they make an effort to make it sound beautiful within the 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 anal retentive restricted parameters in which they're operating but here's the problem really when you listen to performances like this there are basic musical issues. For example, the total lack of pianissimos. Everything is loud. Everything. I mean, the music may say piano, but it just, it's all in your face. Is that the way they play? Is that the way they're recorded? I have no idea. But it just, it sounds, I mean, how can you make a lyrical slow movement noisy with two flutes and strings? They manage. It's, 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 it's an achievement of sorts. And the, and the, orchestral tutties. Now, I agree. I agree that the way that orchestras played Mozart until the period instrument people came along was rather soft-edged and kind of namby-pamby, or it could be, let's put it that way. But there's no excuse for this hacking and burning, slashing and shredding, you know, these these coruscating sonorities, the, 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 the ridiculously excessive rhythmic accentuation. I mean everything just with the, these heavy downbeats and and and, and 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 ugly accents. Oh my God, it's butchery. It isn't music. It's just butchery. It's just horrible. What label is this on? It's on aparte. Here it is. Aparte music. It is aparte from musicality. It is aparte from anything that I, I think could reasonably be considered the aesthetic truth of what this music is trying to express. Now, Gottfried von der Goltz is a very good period instrument violinist. He doesn't play horribly. The tempi are not grotesque, I, you know, as they were for, for Reinhard Goebel, especially the slow movements. Oh my God. No, it's not. It's just not pleasant. 
It's not enjoyable. It's not beautiful. It's not cantabile. It's just, it's just loud, in your face, crude music making. And if you want loud, in your face, crude music making when Mozart's violin concertos, knock yourself out. I don't. The hell with it. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.